patio day. I'm Yasa, and I've never even been in here, but I should have been because I've walked in here a million times because this comes out into the street right here. There's Sao Paulo ruins. Straight up that way. It goes all the way down that way as well. So I should have been here many times. So we're gonna go in here now and go check it all out. There's Sao Paulo ruins. Hey, after you watch this, tell me what you like most about it. Put it in the comments below. Also, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that little bell button so you can see when I make other videos too. Okay, so Padio da Amiasa. Kind of reminds me that I have to do that as well. So yeah, this is Macau has this tiny little Macau 2019. That's back before COVID. So Macau has all these little these little um, patios and things like that. This looks like it's like. I don't know what that is. But I like this right here a lot. This looks really cool. Huh. Got peppers and onions too. It's called Coca Cola. And all the way up, we got all kinds of cool stuff. But we're gonna go all the way down this alley and just kind of see what else is here, and then we're gonna go out into the streets. So, yeah, this looks like it's also part of the same place. Huh. So this, this like go, kind of goes into apartments and things like that. But then we also have this other yellow thing right here. Like this might have once took steps up to somewhere. Kind of makes you want to go up and see what it's all about. There's a door right there. So maybe that's all it does. It just goes to that door. Huh. It's funny because there's also people that live in here too, right? Got these beautiful buildings back in here. So yeah, this is a little patio. Macau is famous because it has tons of little patios and they all have their own little character and feeling to them. And this one has a couple of restaurants back here. So that looks kind of interesting too. It says Macau way back on the wall. But, um, but that's not the focus of this one. I mean, the restaurant's not. The focus is this. Pario do Amiasa. So what we're gonna do is kind of funnel out. That looks kind of interesting too. That one turned into um, a Nike store, I believe. So about the ruins is straight ahead. So that's not gonna be our focus either. We're just gonna show you what's around here, but I do wanna show you that So about the ruins is right there. Right, so they're starting to go down a little bit. So we're, we're gonna do, it's gonna highlight all these buildings. Nice beautiful balcony all the way up at the top. And then we're gonna go all the way down this way. So let's check it all out. Huh, more lights just came on. So this was our focus here where this, where this particular lady is at. So Patio de Mercia is like right there. So we're just set, it's down that way. And we're just gonna keep going down that way. And then you can get some free samples of foods in these kind of places too. They got some more free samples over that way too, on the left and on the right. Oh no, that's a bag shop and that's a food sample spot. The little pharmacy. This street is filled with pharmacies. I think it has something to do with the mainland Chinese tourists. They really like pharmacies a lot. They like to buy stuff in pharmacies from Macau. Not sure exactly why. Cool shoes. This is also for the tourists, so they'll buy some of this food to bring home. Oh, So yeah, that's part of, I guess we'll continue this one. So that little alley, we'll name it that alley, but then we'll kind of give it this little street with it too. And um, we're at about three minutes, four minutes. So we'll just go a little bit further. Actually, the lighting right now is amazing. So it's a good time to film actually.
Kind of cool stuff all the way around. More cool stuff down that way. And we're just gonna kind of turn around this way. So that's where that little alley was at, kind of towards up all the ruins. Check out that building up there. It's cool. Okay. Then you got a nice little temple right here too. So this is uh, part of Pua de Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo Street. And we're gonna keep on walking down a little bit further. So I think what we're just gonna do is go down to this, um, to the end of the street. I would just label this all accordingly, but I think it's um, fits well just so you can kind of get some context of that little patio and what's around some of the patios because they're really in some cool little spaces like that. This one kind of comes up into this plaza over here. I think what we'll do is we'll just go into the plaza a little bit and then we'll um, end this one shortly. But yeah, lots of cool stuff everywhere, right? Okay. So we just basically came from a little alley way up there near South the Ruins. Just a little bit of context. Um, we're gonna come over here and up from this area. I'll, maybe I'll just end it at, the, at this spot up here. It puts it all in the proper context, I think. Because you'll see there's another street that goes up to the Portuguese um, consulate. Another one goes up to the Say Cathedral. Another one that goes to Sanada Square. And the one that Ron just came up, came down from Sao Paulo ruins. It's okay. Beautiful buildings, beautiful alleys. These came up from that one. Okay, so we're gonna get to this little circle and then we're gonna end it on this spot. Pretty good ending, I think. So there we go. So we basically came from that space up there. And over that way is uh, Sonato Square, and then to the right is uh, Say. So this is how was our focus, this is where we're going to end this one right here. And you got these beautiful buildings all the way up to the, especially that one to the left. Like that and like that. Okay. So pretty cool, pretty cool little street. You got to see a patio, got to see some main stuff. I think we'll end it right there. Chiquinha. Go check out the room. Oh, hey guys. Three things. Like, subscribe, make some comments below. It'll really help out my channel. Alright.